You've probably never heard of this multi-billion dollar industry, but it's the same exact industry that I've used here from zero to making $26,000 per month in recurring revenue, just helping local business owners with one simple process. I don't have to set and manage ad campaigns. I don't have to worry about SEO on people's website and making just BS content. I don't have to worry about weekly client check-ins. It's a simple process that I automate for local business owners and they'll pay me a couple hundred dollars a month for it. And no, I don't have some high ticket coaching program to sell you or some 997 course. I wanna give away all the stuff that I've used to get to this point totally for free. I like it a lot. All I ask in return is that you drop a like and a comment down below. So if you're tired of fooling with business model, drop shipping, crypto, you know, thing after thing, trying to make some money online, and you just wanna consistently make solid money from your computer so you might be able to quit your job or maybe have some time and location freedom, then stick around because I'm gonna show you this super simple business that anybody can do, it just takes some work. Before I dive in and show you exactly how Review Harvest and I actually get these clients, sell these clients, set them up, set them up on high level and get them to pay you every single month, month over month, I just wanna show you how many businesses need this service. How many businesses are willing to pay $100 to $300 a month so that you help them get reviews. So you can see there's approximately 400 million small business owners, small to medium sized business owners in the world. And so if we do 400 million, and then let's just say that probably half of them are never even going to consider a review service at all, right? So let's just, you know, times it by 0.5. Now we've got 200 million right and now let's say that really only 25 percent of them will ever you know actually pay for something maybe try somebody out or anything we still have 50 million business owners right so what are the odds that you can get just a hundred just a hundred small business owners to pay you 150 dollars a month on average that's about what we do 150 dollars a month on average is kind of our average ticket for our clients that's fifteen thousand dollars a month you have to get like zero point uh, zero of the market to change your life and create that location freedom that time freedom that you want so actually getting these local business owners reviews is a simpler process than you would expect really you just have local business owners we set them up with a software called high level that allows you to white label um, this software put your logo on it your branding on it you set them up they get more reviews and they get more revenue, right? And so normally you get a 14 day free trial with high level, but my link down below will get you an extended trial as well as all the other bonuses. But when you think about high level, just think about it as this sandbox that has honestly hundreds of different marketing automations features. And we are able to just sell a particular one like reputation management and brand it as our own to keep things really simple. The main problem people run into when they're trying to resell high level is that overwhelm right you can see all of these different features are very overwhelming and so our job is to make it contextual to just what we're trying to do make it really focused for us and for the our customers to help get them reviews but if you're skeptical you're probably thinking why would a business owner pay 100 200 250 dollars a month just for me to help them get google reviews right like logically you can probably say yeah i get it we're probably going to save them some time hopefully automate the process of requesting reviews we're also probably going to help them rank higher on Google, all that sort of stuff. But are business owners really going to receive it the way that I'm selling it right now, right? Like, are they just going to be stoked about it? And obviously, not everybody is. You're going to have to filter out through rejection after rejection. But there are plenty of business owners in the two tunes of millions of business owners that want this service. So I just wanted to pull up our reviews at reviewers.com just to show you that, that that's just the truth and how happy our customers are, right? And so like Alicia said, Review Harvest makes it easy to collect and manage our customer reviews. The process is straightforward. Support team is responsible and helpful. Highly recommend. Preston said Clay and Carly are amazing. We reach out to them to get more reviews for our dog poop scooping business. And they were so patient and helpful while setting up our review page. Justin Schumacher said very easy to use and effective. James said Clay and Carly do an amazing job. Not only did they get my new business 10 plus reviews in just a couple of weeks, they are friendly and professional. Brett said Stellar System, I gained over 100 reviews and it's only been a week. Thank you guys. Amazing work. And so you can see these business owners are stoked. They're, they're really excited to work with Review Harvest for us to take something off their plate to save them hours every week, help more customers find them. And at the end of the day, these reviews to these business owners feel like an ego boost, right? All day they work on their business and they try and improve and they serve these customers. And very rarely do they hear all the positive feedback that their customers have to say about them. And so what we're able to do at Review Harvest, what, what you might be able to do with your own business is just help these business owners feel recognized. So how do we actually get these businesses reviews, right? 
First thing you need to do, you need to get an account at a high level. Feel free to sign up my link down below in the description. You'll get an extended 30-day trial. You'll get coaching calls with me. You'll get access to my community, snapshots, templates, all that sort of stuff. Um, so if you're not doing that, what are you doing? Uh, you want to go ahead and click on create sub-account, right? So you're in your agency view. This is separate from the sub-account view. The agency view is kind of zoomed out. You can see all your clients under you. So you click on sub-accounts. You click on create a sub-account. And from there, you can just use a snapshot that you got uh, email to you automatically and it's actually in, in the community um, but if you sign up my link you'll get an email to invite to the community and then you'll get access to the snapshot through the community and then you can just click on select continue with my snapshot what my snapshot is doing is basically all i think i have like 15 automations in there already built out these are very complex automations built-in notifications built-in tracking basically there's a custom value key where we can change everything on how the sub account behaves and i'll show you that later um, but it's supposed to make it super super easy to onboard a new user in 15 or 20 minutes without having to go into every single workflow or go into every single template and changing it every time you get a new customer right and so if you can't find their business on google maps you can just add manually here but let's say we find plumber just Plumber Local Union, perfect. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add some dummy information here. This is creating the business details of the sub-account. This is not adding them as a user, it's just creating the sub-account. So let me add some dummy details, we'll go to the next step. After you've added your clients, your new client that said yes, after you add their information here, click on add to sub-account, and it's gonna take you to kind of the agency view of the sub-account where you can manage uh, particular things for it, right? So once this loads here, you can see you'll be able to add a uh, card on file to turn on SAS and rebilling. Uh, this is basically where if they're incurring any expenses of like text and email expenses, you can add their card on file and you can just rebuild those expenses to the client. That way you don't have to eat them, which is something I do recommend. And we go ahead and switch to the sub account. Now what we want to do is we want to basically, I'm going to show you kind of what you would walk them through on an onboarding call. There's three or four big things we need to happen on the onboarding call. Number one, we, they need to click on connect their Google business profile here. So tell them to click on Launchpad, click on connect their Google business profile. It's going to prompt them to just log in with their email that manages it. This is going to allow us to respond to the reviews, get their Google review link, uh, post these reviews automatically, all that jazz. The second thing we need them to do is we need them to upload their previous customer list, right? So this is where you go to their CRM, you go to their booking system, you download their list of previous customers as a CSV file, and then you import it right here. This will allow us to do a review reactivation where we slowly reach out to all their previous customers. We get them a whole bunch of reviews up front, so they love us and they know that we're doing a great job and they can trust us in the future and they'll be paying us for hopefully years to come. Right. And then once you get this previous customer list, you want to find a way to automatically add their new customers. So what that's called is this integration, a CRM integration is what I normally call it. I've got plenty of other videos on my channel about how to do a CRM integration uh, so that anytime they get a new customer, it's automatically added and they automatically get a review request. From there, what we want to do is we want to take them to marketing and we want them to connect their social media accounts. After they connect their social media accounts, they'll be able, we'll be able to click on just post reviews. We only want to post five star reviews. We'll be able to upload a couple photos. And now every time they get a five star review, we're automatically posting it to their social media with their logos, their photos, stuff like that. So they know that we're doing good work and they'll continue to pay us. Um, those are the main things that you need to get from them on an onboarding call. And after the onboarding call, you want to come to reputation. You want to come to settings uh, and you want to make sure you turn on AI review responses. So this means that every time they get a review, we'll automatically respond to all the reviews for them. And the cool thing is, is nowadays you can create separate agents for different sort of reviews, right? So we might want Taylor Saylor to respond to our four and five star reviews because she's optimistic and great. Whereas we might want Grace Space, these are just templates, but you can build something from scratch. We might want a more empathetic in solution oriented agent, AI agent to respond to the negative reviews. And so we'll just say, we only let them respond to, let's say two stars or below. And that way you'll get a good review response for every single review. And instead of kind of getting a generic boilerplate AI review response to every single review. And lastly, we're just gonna to navigate to settings. We're gonna to go to the custom values and this is the brains of the operation, right? I've said this before, but basically this snapshot I created it in a way where you'll be able to onboard a new user, a new business, in hopefully 15 to 30 minutes, just by changing some values here and tweaking some other stuff if needed. Um, so what I mean by that is like, you can just say, if this is a recurring service, these customers are gonna be added every single week. We don't wanna follow up three times because then they're gonna get hit, touched three or four times every single week with a text and email requesting a review. And they're gonna do that until they leave a review, right? And so, which that's another thing our, our, my snapshot does. My snapshot is gonna track whether or not they left a review. And if they have left a review, we're gonna quit following up, 
right? If you're at it again in the future. But when it comes to how many times to follow up, like you don't want to follow up with somebody three times in one week, and then they're going to be added to their view request workflow again next week, right? So you might want to change that to zero and stuff like that. But you can just change all the values here and you'll be good to go and they'll be ready to start getting some reviews. So how do you actually get business owners to say yes to you? How do you actually get them to allow us to let them get Google reviews even for free? I wish I had some really expensive system to sell you that you could pay me every single month for and then I'd make a whole bunch of money. But uh, really, in reality, the way that I did it was this right here. And you can just screenshot this and use it for the next, honestly, three, six months to maybe even a year um, because you can do it for free. And this is exactly how I got my first 10 30 and on to like 60 or 70 SaaS customers um, on high level for review harvest, right? So the first thing I did was I focused on getting proof, not profit. I recommend that to anybody. You want to just get some reps under your belt. You know, in the beginning, a business owner allowing you to set this up for free, they're doing you the favor. Right. They're not They're like, like that was when they allowed me to set up for free. I was like, yay. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm like, they're doing, it's a good deal for me because I get reps under my belt. I can get a case study. I can get a review. I can get a referral. And so um, first, just reach out to your network, like your, your phone contacts, people that know you like you trust you already. Here's the script you can send out to them and then just go ahead and try to get some results. Right. And then use those results to reach out to people in your area. Right. So I got my first 10 to 15 customers this way. And then I reached out to people in my area locally to go ahead and continue to expand, get 20, 30, 40 customers, right? And get some more proof. And then once you have a lot of solid proof, you can use that proof and use that profit to scale, right? So once you get to your first 10 customers, you can probably start charging. Like you have enough reps under your belt. You probably feel comfortable saying, hey, let's go ahead and get a card on files, do a 14 day free trial. Then it's going to be X amount a month after that, right? But once you start making some money, you want to start reinvesting that money back into ads. So I was at about 30 or 40 customers. I had been doing it for probably five or six months and I was kind of hitting a plateau with my kind of cold outreach locally. And so what I did was I just created a simple ad saying, hey, my name's Clay from Review Harvest. I help this business go from X to Y reviews. I'd love to do the same thing for you for free. I ran that ad and within two months, I pretty much doubled the amount of customers I had. I think I went from like 35-ish to 60 or 70 um, customers paying me every single month running that ad. And I only have 15,000 year-round residents in my area. And so when it comes to if you live in a city with 100,000 business owners, you I mean 100,000 year-round residents, that you could probably build a business um, just in your local area to 15, 20K, 30K per month, right? Because one of the hardest transitions I made was going from local ads to national ads because once you run ads nationally, you don't have that local trust to then um, help them show up to the call, help you know sell the call, all your... Every single metric you could track, show up rate, close rate, all that sort of stuff is going to go down once you go nationally, right? And so in the beginning, I recommend like using your network and then reaching out to people locally and leveraging that trust and then start running ads. And so um, that's how I got to my first 70 clients. And plus, when you run ads locally, if there are any high rollers in your area, like you know, big CEOs of companies or people that own really massive companies, when you say, hey, my name's Clay from insert your city name that's going to make their ears perk up, right? If you just say, hey, my name's Clay, I'm helping people get reviews, they're probably gonna be like, oh, it's just a kid, whatever, and move on. But when you say that, that you're from the same area that they are, they're going to be willing to help you out. Honestly, I had so many examples of like big, big business owners reach out to me because they saw my ad and be like, hey, I want, I, want some, I want to get some reviews. I want to know what this is all about. Something I would never had a shot with, never had the proof, never had the, you know, uh, the reputation to kind of demand that sort of business, except for the fact that, they were in my area, and so now they're more than willing to work with me. And one more thing I want to say, guys, is that this is hard. I've been on the other side of watching these YouTube videos, getting all excited, um, but paying for something, and then just being disappointed and just realizing that that YouTube video was just hype, and now when you actually get into it, it's not um, as easy as they made it sound, right? And, and maybe even they don't give all the information away or they're trying to charge more. And so seriously, guys, like if you want to sign up for high level with my link, that's great. I'm not here to sell you anything. I want to set proper expectations that this is difficult. I remember times when I would stay up till 2 a.m. working and I would go lay down and I would get a couple hours of sleep and then just my body would naturally wake me up at like five o'clock and I, just, I couldn't sleep. I was just so stressed about bills to pay and all that stuff. So like, if you don't have any money coming in, like go get a part-time job, go to a full-time job and build this on the side. Cause this is hard. It's not going to happen overnight. It takes weeks, months, 
I don't know, maybe even a year to get it to where you're like, okay, sweet. I'm making like $5,000 a month. This is awesome, right? Um, I mean, it took me about a year and a half to hit my first $20,000 a month. And it took me about seven or eight months to hit my first $10,000 a month because I, I had an agency and kind of burned it down. I had an agency that made almost $20,000 per month. And I kind of burned it down and started at about three or $4,000 per month. I had to start over again. And it took me months to get it back up to $10,000 per month. And so um, it's not easy, especially if you don't have any prior experience. It's going to be a lot, but it is possible, right? It is a simple business, not easy, but simple. And so if you're able to stick to something for a year or two years, then yes, great, you know, jump on this. But this, this could just be another shiny object to you if you're not willing to put in the work. But if you are interested in getting started with high level, maybe starting to make some smart passive income, using high level to help local business achieve some sort of outcome, feel free to sign up with my link down below in the description. I don't really give, I don't really hide anything, right? I give everything away in here. I pour thousands of hours in this community. You can see really quickly how active I am. So you can see I'm very active. I've been active. I got a 30 day streak going. So every day I'm in this community answering people's questions, helping people out in here. You'll have four coaching calls a week, one with a Facebook ads expert, three with me where I'll meet you where you are and help walk you through whatever challenge you're going through. And then we have step-by-step -step training. So day one through day seven on day seven, you'll have your first client. You'll have everything set up and uh, yeah, walk through the whole entire thing. Don't only hide anything back. So if you like this video, feel free to watch a nine hour video that I posted that goes over this whole entire course. You just don't get the templates and stuff up next. And I'd love to see you in the community soon. Peace.